Of all the trails in Yosemite National Park, I love this trail the most. The first part of the hike is deceptively strenuous, up and down, up and down. The river roars beside and below the path. It's easy to focus on one's feet and forget to look up at the towering granite walls or down into the white tumultuous water. The first reveal of Vernal Falls isn't even that great. From atop a bridge a mile away, it doesn't have the awe of the other falls. The next mile though, makes it all worth it. The trail takes you right up to the falls. The stairs carved from the granite allow you to climb to the top right next to the cascade. Ponchos and rain slickers are recommended. And this year, with the record snowfall in California, the power of the water sends more mist into the air than usual. We are in a waterfall as close as you can get without being pummeled by it. A complete sensory experience. It's very wet. My shoes are wet. We are in a waterfall. It is wet. Water droplets accumulate on my sunglasses, making it hard to see. But take them off and the mist gets in my eyes. The steps are well worn by feet and constant watering. So much water. I look down at the next step, secure my footing and push on. I look up and feel the cool mist on my face. How can something so big, so powerful, so marvelous exist? Who saw this waterfall and the granite cliff beside it and thought, let's carve stairs right here so more people can experience this marvel. I thank whoever it was for a path that brings me immense joy. Here, right here, Avernal Falls. Very wet. Getting wet. The rest at the top is earned. I strip off my soaked layers and eat a sandwich at the river's edge. The bliss lingers, but I feel it slipping away. How long can I hold on to this feeling? COVID stole a lot of joy. Cancer took some more. Opportunities were fewer for novelty and connection. The big events were too risky. Gatherings, once so joyous, brought fears of exposing my weakened immune system to germs it could not protect itself from. Now my world is opening up again and I worry. Have I lost my ability to experience joy? I watch the river flow towards the edge where it wily coyotes itself into mist. The top isn't all it's cracked up to be. At the top, there is a river that suddenly stops. You can't even see the waterfall from the top. The best part of the mist trail is the mist. This is where the joy is. And the rest of the hike is just a long walk home. We hike back the driveway, and we are treated to a view of Vernal Falls from a different vantage point, one more quiet. To see the falls in muted wonder from a distance expands my understanding of what I have accomplished. I breathe in the fresh air, the blue sky, the mossy rocks, and smile. I can look back at joy and conjure it again. If joy is only had at the peak of an experience, at the top of a waterfall or at the end of a trail, it is far too fleeting. And if I focus on the pain in my calves as I climb each granite step or the strenuous up and down of the inevitable path home, I miss the trickles of water creating smaller waterfalls as it cascades over the steps. I miss the way the water tumbles over itself in freefall. I'll miss the rainbows. We finish with the same arduous up and down we began with. I see trees growing in crevices that appear to hold only a handful of dirt. Moss grows on shaded rock faces and squirrels feast on acorns. On the way to the falls, I saw these small things, these small moments, but I did not see them. Now that I have mist in my eyes, I can see.